Why can't you put fact checkers in an orchard? Because they really don't like cherry picking. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. So Body, what is the actual story here? Did the CIA issue a warning to U.S. citizens to avoid using the Paris Metro during the 2024 Summer Olympics? No, that's not true. No official statements or credible sources confirm such a warning as of June 18, 2024. So there was more to it. Additionally, warnings and travel advisories are typically issued by the U.S. State Department, not the CIA. Remember folks, always double-check your sources before sharing information, especially when it comes to travel advisories. Some people ask me if this is true. Does a warmer average temperature in May 1895 compared to May 2024 disprove global warming, as a post with a chart on social media implied? No, that's not true. Climate experts contacted by Lead Stories said the data was cherry-picked and misleading and that the data chart was altered so as to mislead readers about the long-term trend. That's unexpected. Short-term fluctuations in temperature do not invalidate long-term global warming trends, which are supported by extensive scientific evidence showing a consistent rise in global average temperatures over the last 100 years. Remember, don't fall for cherry-picked data. Global warming is a long-term trend, not a one-time blip. Is this really a thing? Is famed linguist Noam Chomsky dead as of June 18, 2024? No, that's not true. The claim that Chomsky had died was posted without sources, corroborating information or witness statements. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. The account that posted it subsequently published a correction saying Chomsky had not died. Journalists who contacted Chomsky's wife, Valeria Wasserman Chomsky, were told that the linguist was not dead. Remember, always verify information before sharing news of someone's passing. It's better to be safe than sorry. I've got a question for you. Did the Albanian Prime Minister describe the three major devils in the world as being the US, the Soviet Union and Israel while speaking in front of the US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken? No, that's not true. A video clip used in a social media post is missing context. How do you keep finding all this? Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama was explaining the history of his country and referring to how the strict communist regime of a former era viewed the world and its three major devils back then. Remember, context is key when interpreting information. Always look for the full story before jumping to conclusions. So, body, what's the real story here? Does YouTube restart ads if the viewer looks away as of June 2024? No, that's not true. It is the self-described satirical, absurd work of designer Soren Iverson. Good, you looked into it. YouTube has not implemented this feature. Iverson is known for creating satirical content involving new features for various products. Remember, not everything you see online is true. Always fact check before sharing information. I guess I could Google this, but I might as well ask you. Has new security fencing been erected around the U.S. Supreme Court building in advance of a big case ruling? No, that's not true. The video accompanying this claim dates back to a May 5, 2022, post on the social media platform X. The 2024 post was one of several making the claim of fencing around the building, none accurate. Several Washington, D.C., based journalists responded to the rumors by posting photos of the Supreme Court taken on the evening of June 17, 2024. Can you explain that to me like I was five? These pictures show no fencing across the front of the main steps, some spare uninstalled panels of bicycle rack, style temporary fencing, and that same fence lining the interior edge of the sidewalk. Remember folks, always double check your sources before jumping to conclusions, especially when it comes to security fencing around the Supreme Court. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.